Hey guys, it's Trevin Scheller, owner of Night Wolf TV, and in this video we're going to be playing the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Developed by vicarious vision. Here it is, the Crash Bandicoot and Saiyan Trilogy. I actually never owned a PS4, so due to that, I never owned this game. I don't know how excited I was that they actually released this game on Switch. I was like, oh my god, I can finally get it. Yeah, I'll accept. But nobody really reads that stuff anyway. So you got Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, and Crash Bandicoot 3. So we're gonna be playing... Oh, this is Stormy Ascent now available. And for Crash Free, we have Future Tense. I played a little bit of the, the first game, but I've never played 2 and 3. Those are completely new to me. I never beat, I never beat any of the games. Commandos to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant. We are closer than ever before. Quickly into the vortex. Dr. Cortex, <laughs> the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Hint, collect three Aku Aku masks to become invincible. Okay. So now we're washed up on shore just like in the original version. Oh, we got our first one up. Sweet. Alright, so... I already died. Alright, so B to jump, Y to spin, and X for inventory. I think it means hide. Yeah, destroy this crab. There we go. Got one of the Aku Aku masks. And you know, you know something? Aku is actually um, Chinese for evil. Yeah, I've seen I've seen Samurai Jack. Good show. It's weird they got similar. Yeah, Aku actually, the word Aku actually means evil in another language. I believe Chinese. It's weird. I got our first checkpoint. And now we're finally invincible. Feeding the turtles. Let's these boxes. Uh, I think I'll go right. Okay, so we got Tommy's just right. Darn it, I died. I almost had a hundred apples. I like how you could use the D-pad with this game, just like in the PS1. Oh, I didn't use the D-pad in the PS1 version.
And it's like, I can believe the fact that it's really hard to break every single box in the game, and I'm not even gonna try to do that. Just wanna go for this game. Just, ha you know, have some fun with it. Like, I think if I were to, like, try to get every single box, I would totally rage quit. Guess I'll do it for this level, though. I mean, because this level's pretty easy. I mean, I mean, well, yeah, it's obvious, because this is the easiest level in the game. But yeah, again, I was really glad that I was able to get the... Crash Bandicoot on Switch, but I can't get Spyro. I wanted the Spyro Reignite Trilogy so bad. And it's made by Toys for Bob as well, and they made Skylanders, and they like released Skylander games on every console simultaneously, and that always sold well. So why can they do that with Spyro? Guessing graphics or something, probably why. Probably why they're releasing on Xbox One like as soon as like. I mean that explains why they're releasing on Xbox One instead of just PS4. Like they're releasing on both PS4 and Xbox One. Anyways, that's enough about Spyro. Let's just. Okay, Jungle Rollers. T. Sorry, I hurt. Wow, oh, those plants, the piranha plants, that's what they look like. I never like these rolling stones. So this isn't entirely a blind let's play. That's half blind. I, I never beat the game, I've played this part. I forget, do you get a hundred app do you get a lot a new I, bleh. do you get a one up when you get a hundred apples? Oh I'll just go I'll just get one more apple and I'll find out. I forget. TNT. Yeah, you do. Oh, we got our first bonus stage. In the PS1 version, this was the only way to save. Now, I'll be honest, I actually have played the Unsane Trilogy before. But like, it's my first time playing it on YouTube. Whoa. Uh, I almost died. What boxes did I even miss? I don't remember missing any boxes. Great, but you missed free boxes. Of course I did. Alright. And to save, you have to press ZL and then just... You also have an auto-save thing right here. That's a huge improvement right there. You don't need to do the bonus stages just to save. Oh, I never like this stage. Probably one of my least favorite stages. Hints, hold B to bounce higher. Oh, I'm already invincible. Sweet. I wonder if some people have hacked the Insane Trilogy yet. Like, to make it so you could just be... So I was thinking about just being invincible the entire game. That I was thinking, has anybody ever hacked this game yet? I mean, this game has been out on PS4 for over a year now, hard to believe. And 
and like I was, I'm thinking maybe someone hacked it by now. Yeah, it's two of those. I always, I've always hated these guys, except in this version they don't like throw you off the to your death. I mean, yeah, I honestly think they're a little easier to beat in the Ancient Trilogy than in the, in, than the PS1 version. Wait, so like, I thought something, what's, what's the point of bonuses in the Ancient Trilogy? And just look at that background though, it's beautiful. Like for some reason it reminds me of that one level from uh, Sonic Heroes. Like that's exactly what it reminds me of for some reason because of the music or something. Great, but you missed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. Like I like seriously, I wonder how much that hurts. Like to get beat by the boxes. Boulders. Another another level I wasn't really into. Jones again. I've actually never even seen that movie, I just know it's from that. I've played Lego Indiana Jones. That was a good game. Like, a long time. I'm talking like over a decade ago. That last time I played it. and jump. complete, I believe. Upstream, not a level I didn't like. Yeah, I know I'm saying I don't like a lot of the levels. I mean, this game is like pretty much hard, but you know, it's, I still like it. I, I just think this level's hard. Like, like, That's the way to get up here is by jumping. Yeah, it's two. Close. 
Alright, let's do this. So much jump, there's a lot of jumping in this game. Sometimes you guys. What? I landed on the. Probably no collision in that part of the flower. But you missed four boxes. Four. Uh, papu Papu. Once you know how to beat the boss, it's pretty easy. Of course, you gotta get out of this thing. Really good trick to be the boss. Alright, he's almost dead. What? What? You can die after he's dead? That makes no sense. Come on. There we go. So now you don't touch him. Really, he touched him again, he didn't die. Oh, it's over here. Oh, yeah. Do you want her to join your adventure? Yes. Oh, uh, so now I can play as Coco. That's cool. So guys, that's it for this video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. More videos coming soon, and if you enjoyed this, comment down below if you want a part two to this, to, to this game. So yeah, that's it, guys. Have a great day.